We are so excited about the new tower that's coming out of the ground now. Every day we see remarkable progress. I've spent my entire career building hospitals around the country, and this is by far the most beautiful, uh, highest technology, state-of-the-art hospital that I've ever been a part of. You can just see the joy that's building with this new building to come. And what our hope is, is that every patient that walks into the door of the building feels like it's a place that they belong, that this is the place that they were meant to receive their care. Over 10 years ago, we started to remake the facade, the facilities, and the look of our campus. And this new building will actually complete that transformation. We're 24 months into a 39-month build. So here we are now six stories out of the ground, uh, with the focus being getting that structure all the way up to level 17. Uh, moving forward, but also as we're beginning now, we're starting with some of that fit out or what we call the build out of those lower floors coming up. Do you find if I check your pump just I think the environment that we work in is suitable for the patients, but most of our rooms are semi private. The doctors come in as a team, so there can be at least four to five physicians in the room and you still have another patient next door and their team may come in. And so the area can get pretty tight. One of the things that I think will stand out most to patients is that all of the patient rooms will be private rooms. And with that comes dedicated uh, space identified for families. This will allow us to facilitate a collaborative team that includes the family as well as the doctors. So this building is unique to the BJC campus in the sense that it is a concrete structure. Most of what we see here on campus is a steel structure. The concrete affords the opportunity to have better acoustic performance as well as vibration performance, which is really important for the doctors that are inside the building, particularly in the diagnostics and imaging space, to have that really good control over the building. So one of the things that I think sticks out the most is how we have implemented state-of-the-art technology at the patient's bedside. And what this will do is allow clinical team members to spend more time um, with the patient at the patient's bedside. So we're really gonna be able to expand our capacity to serve heart and vascular patients in the region. We will also have uh, a new radiology platform. Again, um, state-of-the-art equipment, state-of-the-art uh, locations. We'll also add to our capabilities to serve our surgical patients with new pre and post area for recovery and preparation for surgery. One more thing that really excites me is the arrival sequence into the South Campus. And that area will be much more easy to navigate, brighter, much more open, and much more welcoming. It'll feel like you're arriving into this wonderful place of healing. One of the things that we've really focused our attention on is that each patient care area will have what we're calling a family respite room, um, where there will be a full glass of windows of natural light to offer an excellent view of the city. We have also included a rooftop garden for patients and families to be able to access. Looking forward to the end of the year, what we're gonna to continue to see on site is the team pushing the concrete up towards the sky. We're also gonna see all of the other trades and all of that fit out work that we talked about coming in behind. That means that we're gonna have this surge in activity here on site. We're looking for the peak of construction to be right after the first of the year. The next major milestone on the project that we're looking towards is the top out of this structure. That's gonna happen sometime between six and eight months from now. It'll be early spring of 2024. That drives a lot of activities that brings us all the way through the project to the substantial completion in 2025. This new building will allow us to provide excellent care and feel that way. We're building a building that will serve our community, not only locally and regionally, but also nationally um, for decades to come. I believe today we provide extraordinary care, but soon we'll be able to provide that extraordinary care in an extraordinary facility that supports that.